Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Jack, you're watching Mead Source, and today we're going to be doing a game review, which is something I haven't done on this channel yet. Speaking about game reviews, first things first is I want to point out that although I do love gaming, I don't really consider myself a hardcore gamer or a pro gamer. In my reviews, you may notice that I might miss a few things here and there, maybe some features that you thought that should have been included or I don't know. So you may or may not find this review valuable if you're a pro gamer. However, if you are like myself and you're on more of the casual side of gaming, you could actually find this review quite valuable in the sense that I only really point out the things that I noticed straight away or only playing for a small amount of time, things that meant a lot to me as a casual gamer. So the main things that what I find really, really fucking worth mentioning anyway. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Today we're going to be talking about Nintendo Smash Bros or Nintendo Smash Bros Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. Coming back into Smash Bros on the Switch is pretty much like you never really left the game in the first place. If you've played Smash Bros before on any of the other consoles going all the way back to N64, this is going to feel right at home. It's clean, it's responsive, it's easy to navigate, it's basically as the same game as it always has been with a few extra features. Really, that, it's about, that, that's about fucking it. So one of the first things you're gonna notice if you're returning, or even if you're not returning, is that there's a shit ton of content, like a metric shit ton, that there's, there's basically every character and every stage from every other Smash Bros game ever released are in this game. And when you see all those stages and all those characters, it's just like Which is fucking great. It's really, really good. First time I believe that this has been done in a Smash Bros game where they've actually been able to use all the characters without any stupid bullshit in between. So awesome. Absolutely awesome. And there's also a few new characters that you may or may not recognize from the newer franchises. So if you're like me, the main reason I bought Smash Bros was basically you enjoy the mindless kickback where you can just kind of set your own rules, you choose your own characters, you choose who you're going up against, whether it's CPU or your mates, and you just kick back and you have a fucking good time. And that's pretty much what Super Smash Bros is all about and it hasn't changed at all. Now they have introduced a new story mode-esque type of mode story mode-esque type of mode. You know what I'm talking about, but it's basically called the World of Light. So basically you progress through a very familiar Nintendo style overworld, you know, back in the old day where you're playing Mario and you're jumping through the different levels and then you play the level and kind of thing. That, that, that's, that's your overworld. So you'll progress through this world, you'll verse different uh, characters and various fighting styles and various rule sets and you unlock new characters as you go. So this mode can actually be really quite challenging at times, uh, to the point where you're probably gonna to wanna to throw your switch through the fucking window, which I've come through many, many times where I've come this fucking close to doing that very thing myself. But that's awesome, and I really like a good challenging game. And basically, you'll be surprised that by just switching up uh, your characters that you're using, or the perks that you've chosen, a stage that you get absolutely flogged at can all of a sudden become really easy to the point where you can win it almost instantly just by switching characters. So I really like the World of Light mode because it kind of puts you out of your comfort zone and it makes you think about being a little bit more strategic and using different characters and their strengths and weaknesses to your advantage. Back to the that perk system I was talking about, they're called spirits, right? And you get to choose either one or two depending on your character and all that kind of shit that you choose. But Basically, they're like little uh, rule sets for your own character. So one might let you start off with a Pokeball or one might let you jump a little bit higher than usual or something like that. There's a lot of these perks that I don't really fully understand and some of them seem to do fuck all, but there's also some that seem to do really well. So I can actually see like some people getting quite deep into the strategy of this and using it to their advantage. And like I said, I don't really use it much or pay much attention to it. So I don't really get it. But you might, and I reckon that I, I can see that there could be a lot of use for this system. So yeah, that's I think that's pretty cool. 
There's also a feature that lets you create your own hero, your own character basically, using your Nintendo Me, your, your little guy that you create that you know, looks like you or whoever you want it to look like. So I really actually like that feature. I created my own, used my own character, and I made him like a, a little sword cam. He's really good. So I, I really like that. You probably like that as well. It's really good, especially when you have many characters unlocked at the start. It's kind of fun to be able to play with your own character and kind of get used to the maybe the weapons and the play style that you're more used to. So yeah, that's that's a really cool mode. Uh, now there is an online competitive mode. I refuse to pay for the Nintendo yearly subscription, which is only like 20 bucks or something like that, but I don't really play my Switch enough to justify that price. And quite honestly, I'm fine with just playing with bots and, and all that and my friends in real life. Uh, if that's your thing, go ahead, pay for that subscription. But like I said, I never really play it much at home anyway and that's where you need Wi-Fi and it's just not a great system. So I can't justify paying that yet anyway. And maybe if I get some more games or I don't play online, then I'll, I'll get that subscription. But until then, uh, I'll, I'll stick with story mode. That's about really it. Um, I'm not gonna go into it a lot further. Basically, if you love Super Smash Bros and you have a Switch, then I'd say this is probably a definite must-buy. It's a lot of fun. You may never end up actually using a lot of the new modes and features that it comes with. I probably won't, but I bought it for a reason and that's because I wanted that nostalgic feels. And this game has a lot of replayability. You know, you can play it on the piss, you can play it driving, or not driving, don't play while driving. You know, if you're if you're on a long drive or you're going to the fucking airport, there's a lot, this game is just perfect. It, it's just, you could play it for days, bro. Play it for days. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about it, guys. Let me know in the comments below if there's probably something that you thought that I should have mentioned or you want other people to know about this game. And uh, yeah. Guys, thanks for watching the video. As always, please put a comment in below if you have any questions or try my best to answer them. Uh, hit that like button, it actually helps a sh load. Um, also, you know, if you want to hit the subscribe button as well, that probably helps even more. And if you really, 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 really want to, hit the notification bell button as well and you'll always get the latest videos from myself. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Jake, Meat Sauce, see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.